Hi, I'm Hall Davidson. I'm here in the studios of KOCE TV, the PBS affiliate in Orange County, California, to bring you a program on copyright. This is a program for educators, people in the K-12 educational environment. We think this is an important topic for you, and here's why. Copyright is a key part of intellectual property. Intellectual property is what the largest companies in this country are based on. Microsoft, Google, Apple, computer companies, Warner Brothers, AOL, all of these companies have their basic assets in intellectual property. Not only that, a school that has a textbook is using intellectual property. A school that uses web pages is using intellectual property. And students and teachers that are creating projects are creating intellectual property. So in the 21st century, we can no longer be ignorant of what copyright is and what it covers. So that's what we're, we're all about here. And we're hoping that in this short series of videos, you'll be able to get an understanding of copyright and make judgment calls on your own. So who should watch this program? Well, there's three groups, really, that need to watch this program. First are teachers. Teachers are not only on the front lines of education, but teachers also are empowered to a high degree under the Copyright Act. Now that's pretty amazing. As we'll see, the only people that have, the only group that has the same amount of power as classroom teachers is the free press. And we know how important the free press is in the United States. Educators have the same rights as the free press under the Copyright Act. That's pretty important. In order for teachers to maintain that power, though, their ability to use intellectual property, there are some guidelines that have to be followed. And those are under the purview of administrators. And that's the second part the second audience for this program. Administrators need to be aware of what the Copyright Act in entails and what the guidelines are that make the use of some property permissible and some intellectual property impermissible. If an administrator is doing a job of monitoring intellectual property and copyright in a school, that's what enables teachers to have such leeway in the classroom. So they're an important part of that program. Also, board members for the same reason need to be aware of intellectual property so that they can feel comfortable with what's going on day-to-day -day in that school. And remember that day-to-day -day operation in a 21st century school involves intellectual property. This is not for students. This is not really a program that a student would, would enjoy, I think, but there's nothing in here that's inappropriate. If you want your students to learn about copyright, they can watch this. And something else that's important that I think as we get on you're going to find, copyright is actually a friend of education. If you are leaving copyright guidelines, you're probably not doing good education. So copyright, although it seems like a burden, can actually support good practice in a classroom. Okay, what are these programs going to involve? These programs are going to consist of, first, this introduction. Second, we're going to do an overview of copyright, so you get a good sense of what copyright really is. Third, we're going to talk about fair use, which is a section that really applies almost every day to education and classrooms. Then we're going to cover uh, the nuts and bolts of what really um, gets done in a classroom, the use of Internet and web pages. What can you do? What can't you do? Same thing for images. What can you use? What can't you use? How much of this can you use? Where can you get it from? How do you know as an administrator or, or a teacher whether this is appropriate or inappropriate use? Also, we're going to cover music. Same deal. Is it appropriate or inappropriate? Can you use it? Often the answer, by the way, is yes. Uh, other things, digital media, movie making, digital video construction, use, download, creation in the classroom. We're going to also have a, a complete program on. If you want deeper resources, please go to a website that we've set up, copyrighteducation.org. Uh, you will find a lot of good stuff there, including videos of this program. Maybe you're watching this from a download. Also, charts. Uh, charts that give you a quick and concise look at what's permissible and what's not permissible. Those are very popular. Also, quizzes, so you can inform staffs and teachers can self-test to see if really they have an understanding of what copyright is and how it applies in the classroom. Also, links. Uh, when we started copyright education at this station uh, more than 10 years ago, the, there wasn't much real support on the Internet. Now there are great sites, sites with examples, sites from colleges and universities, sites from the government itself that actually are very informative and wonderful. So those links will all be here at copyrighteducation.org. 
Uh, there is much more that will appear. Uh, technology is a wonderful thing. You never really know what's going to happen uh, day to day. New inventions will come that have an application on, uh, on classroom instruction. Those will pop up here on the website long after these videos have been shot. So remember, it's copyrighteducation.org and also copyrighteducation.info. We got that URL, too. So please go there, uh, download these videos, and make the best possible use of them. I wish I could say that if you downloaded the quizzes and the charts and memorized those, that you'd know all you need to know about copyright. The truth is that copyright is more evasive than that. Copyright is a wonderful kind of law that is deliberately kept kind of vague, blurry because it has an overarching purpose in society to do good, and the court likes to hold power back to say this is a good application, this is not a good application. It's not as complicated as it sounds, but you do have to have an understanding of how it works. And when you get an understanding, you will know more than 90% of the American public about copyright. So I hope you enjoy these programs. Let me just say one thing. If James Madison, the father of the Constitution, the Constitution in which copyright is embedded, if James Madison knew that teachers administrators and school board members were watching a program about copyright, he would be very, very happy. Why? Because it was created to promote the use of many good things in society, especially including education. So copyright can be your friend. So that's what this program is about. Uh, the next program will be our overview on copyright. Download it. We hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching.